Zach, it's been an awesome morning on the water chasing a few squid. Good fun. This platform is amazing. Uh, cross country charters. Give us a bit of background on that. Uh, background, I suppose it started probably three, four years ago. Um, been thinking about it for probably 10 years. Yep, yep. Um, just had to build up the courage to actually take that leap. Yep. Um, baby steps for a start and it went from being a project this big to, yeah. <laughs> to this year. But um, yeah, no, it's been just amazing. It's yep. been a hell of a journey. Committed, jumped in, yep. did it, yep. Yeah, um, obviously wasn't meant to sort of be this big and it just, we get sort of greedy as we as we sort of go along through the process and yep. I want it bigger, wider, yep. more horsepower, better electronics. Yep. Um, and then I ended up yeah, with this, but yeah, I wouldn't change it. No, no, oh, amazing rig. And in terms of the, the charter itself, Port Phillip Bay, yep. your home waters for, for the charter? Yep, so it's the beauty of this, it's the biggest trailable boat we could possibly build. Yep. Um, so we've turned around, it's it's yeah, just towable with an F-250. Yep. And so, we run out of Queenscliff, we've got our own mooring here, yep. um, but it's only sort of from sort of September up till April, that's sort of where we're permanently sort of moored, yep. um, and then we sort of venture around, but in saying that, if there is a hot buy somewhere, we want to, I want to do another King Island trip, yeah, and yep, to yep. South Australia, and um, yeah, so it's, it's just, that's the beauty of that, if there is a hot buy somewhere along the coast, you can, you can throw it on the trailer and tell it. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, eh? that's crazy. <laughs> oh. We're just going basher going off in the background. He's on a squid. <laughs> nice work. We're on the we're on the spot. We'll no. close the doors and leave him out. Yeah, the I reckon here. they're just trouble. Those two. Oh, he's got one. Not a monster. <laughs> uh, whose jig is it on? Oh, you are joking! <laughs> you are joking! <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that is not cool. Yeah. I've not got a squid yet, and that bloke has just picked up my rod and slayed one. Now, how do I feel? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, they're good, good fun. That's what fishing's about, exactly mate. Hey, right. it's about having exactly fun. Right. And and the boat for you, I know there's a bit of a story behind the boat as well. Like seriously, I've been on a lot of boats in my life, and I, I don't think I've seen a better platform built yeah. for fishing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's it, as I said, it took me nine months um, to to sort of set this up, and I've sort of bought and sold boats over the last ten years, and so I've sort of just grabbed bits and pieces yep. that I liked off all the boats. Um, and then eventually, like, to try and sign on the dotted line to actually get this one <laughs> cut, it was so stressful. We had things set up in the house and walkways and... Yes, and yep. Yeah, and that's oh, it's incredible. Building something's never been built before. So yeah, yeah, and that was through that was Richardson, Richardson Marine. Marine. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've, Ed, it's it's magic. Eh? Been up so there. nine meter. Yeah, so it's 9.3 overall yep. and 2.95 wide. Awesome, crazy capacity, hey? And walk around, which yep. is awesome, you know, the, the ability yep. to fight fish or, you know, just fit multiple anglers on here. Like, how many can you fish on this boat? So I can fish 10 people, so eight punters and two crew. Yeah. So myself and a deckhand. Yeah, awesome. So there you go. Like, I mean, if, you, if you've got four, five, six, eight of you, you know, you want to go and get out there and have a fish, you know, even today we're battling the winds and that today, but it's been it's been comfortable. It's yeah. been beautiful on the boat here, so yeah. awesome yeah, in that exactly sense. Right. And and make sure you check out the captain on Facebook as well for a more detailed overview of yeah. the boat because oh, they amazing. they go through it pretty comprehensive. And that King Island trip yeah. looked pretty amazing. Oh, that was it. Them boys are just legends. And yeah. yeah, what they've done, it's just yeah, it's been amazing. They um yeah, they sort of went off their own back and put that together for me. And yep. yeah, it's been it's been incredible. It does it gives people an insight? Because it's not just about building a boat and going chasing Charles. It's, it's been a yeah. dream. They sort of paint the yeah. picture and oh, and um, and. Like, and to me, like listening to you, like you love your fishing and you yeah. love the water and you love boats and, and listening to you talk, it is like the fulfillment of a dream, you know, yeah. like, I mean, you've yeah. I don't know how many times in your head you've seen this boat, <laughs> but to see it come to life as a fishing vessel, yeah. it's, it's awesome, it's yeah. brilliant. I'm no, stoked to be on board and yeah, I will no. catch a squid. Yeah, as I said, you'll get the last laugh. <laughs> awesome, mate. All right, we've got a good feed of squid in the box. We've taken our cuttlefish turn it into a pile of strips. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves a King George Whiting. Buckle up. On. Basher, straight from the squid to the whiting. On. Yep. Here we are. Nice. Probably, probably just on, maybe just under. Measure. Very slimy they are. <laughs> oh, crikey. <laughs> Losing the plot. 
That's on the circle, okay? You like yeah, the circle hook? Hooked, yeah. Just let them, let them eat it. Just let let them, them eat it. it. And just put a bit of tension on it, and they hook themselves. So yep. lazy fishing like myself. Oh, just, it's uh, beautiful, though, isn't it? Let like, the hook do the work. Yeah, so. it's pretty relaxing, though. <laughs> just chill on the boat and catch a few whiting, eh? Yeah, nice. So. And tasty critters too. Very, very tasty. So. I'll put him on the measure and see how we go. Twenty-nine on the measure. So that one's in the box. <laughs> tasty feed. We'll see if we can get a few bigger ones. Yeah, but 20, 20, still tasty critter, eh? Slippery little zuckers. <laughs> Zach on. Whiting? Yeah. Feel all right? <laughs> Good fun on those little LRF combos. So that seven foot four LRF. Nice light rod. Small spinning reel, that's the Apixor XT20. With some light braid, cracker fish. I <clears throat> wanted it. <laughs> Here we go, get hold of it. <laughs> That's a solid fish. Beautiful. On that light gear, 10 pound braid, light leader, 10 pound leader or so, and Perfect good combat. fun. Oh, good fun, those head shakes. <clears throat> Feels all right. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Beautiful. That's what we're after. Pat and Osta set up with a loop so we can quickly adjust our weight. Flicking it out there, waiting for the bite. Let him rattle it a couple of times and fish on. Not a monster, but a tasty feed, that's for sure. Oh, that's a cracker. That's what we're looking for. Better? That's that's a nice one, eh? Nice. That's a good one. I might reuse the space. <laughs> yeah, gave it back to you. <laughs> nice light spin combos. Awesome, beautiful. And uh, had an Oster rig. Yep. And an angry whiting. Can't can't beat that. Beautiful eating fish. Good. Beautiful. Good fun, hard fighting fish. And anyone in the family can get out and get <laughs> get stuck into a few as well, eh? One, That's eh? a nice one, Basha. 36. Yeah, there you go. 36. Happy with that. Double hook up. <laughs> nice one, another nice one. Oh, solid fill. Beast. Oh, that's a cracker. And another one? Oh, nearly. <laughs> So just a small pattern oster rig, Phil? Yeah. Decent length of trace? Yeah, the length of the trace is the main thing. The longer you can fish, the better. Yep, and then a... Uh, oh yeah, and just, just a, a straight shank, number four straight shank. Basher likes the circles, I prefer the straight. Yep. Just a choice of what yep. you like, you know. Both, both hook, both hook yeah. the fish, eh? Hey? and just a long strip of bait, just yep. through the ends. Make sure it doesn't spin in the water and... Yeah, yep. yeah that was a good tip before you said about pinning the... the end of the strip in there, make sure you feed it on like a worm so it yeah, doesn't spin. that's right, yeah. And these guys just swim up, yep, suck it in, suck hey? It in, yep. If it spins, they tend not to take it, so. Yeah, no, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a cracker, mate. That is a solid fish. Yeah. Gotta be happy with that one. Yeah, Hang on, I think I've got him. Oh no. <laughs> oh. oh. <clears throat> Some good head shakes on that one. He is. He's not happy. I think he knows you're gonna catch him in the slip. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Same sort of same sort of ground where you where you target your squid, eh? Yeah. 100%. So that broken sort of sand and weed, yep. fishing where the weed meets the sand. Yep, exactly. We were only what 100 metres here catching our squid this morning. Yep. So. And then we come back and turn that turn that cuttlefish into a tasty feed of King George whiting. Exactly so right. look for those oh, patches. Bashes on. Bashes on. Where that weed meets that sand, these guys will be hunting around in there for a feed. I've got a, I've got a good solid grip on him this time, <laughs> and it seems do. to be once we once we started to get one or two, yep. 
started to stir them up a bit as well. Nice. Twins. <laughs> You guys, you're, you're not getting paid. Got him. For, I got him now. You're not getting paid for today. You're <laughs> <not the> <laughs> nice work. That's awesome. So once you find them and stir them up a bit, generally gets them going. Yep. And then we've got a few baits getting thrown back in the water, bits and pieces of baits. They're shaking baits off, and it's just burling them up, eh? Yeah, he's a good one. Real good one, this one. Oh, he's a monster. That is a quality fish, eh? What an absolute ripper. Better than that. Now I'm back door. That is a good fish, eh? There you go, check that out for a Port Phillip Bay, King George Whiting. Just look at the Solid fish, eh? Beautiful fish. Thick, thick fish. And awesome fun on this light spin gear as well, eh? Hey? So there you go folks, an awesome day on the water with Zach and Cross Country Charters. Check out crosscountryfishing.com.au. Get stuck into these beautiful King George Whiting, squid and the stack of other species that are on offer in Port Phillip Bay. And don't forget this bloke here, Basher Hurley, pretty awesome to watch on the field and he goes all right on the water as well. So make sure you, you check out Google Basher Hurley Richmond Tigers and check out, check out Basher in action on the footy field. Pretty awesome to watch. That's it for us. Time to go and have a feed of squid and King George Whiting. Thanks, boys. Look forward to it. Pleasure.